Well, if you ever wanted to hit the green in December, and which uh, all of us would like to, there's a new restaurant downtown that's got you covered. Three Jack just opened in the North Loop, and it's run by a brother and sister team. We're happy to have Lucy Robb, Bo Massapus, and along with their executive chef, Robert Wolfile. I think I got all of them right, didn't I? Yeah. Well, they it. Good Thank to have you guys you. all here. Thanks uh, for having us. First of all, I, and I found this interesting, we kind of joked before that a, a, a brother-sister team, I could never work with my sister. <laughs> but you guys have made it work. How did that happen? Yeah, well, we've, we've wanted to be in business together for a really long yeah. time. We've had ideas for years. Um, and this this was the first one that actually came to life. That's cool. Yeah. And you were in you were a lawyer. You were in commercial real estate. Yep. How did you come up with the idea for an indoor golf simulator restaurant? Yeah. Well, uh, so Three Jack is a a bar, restaurant, yeah. golf simulator venue, and we were inspired to build it because in Minnesota, yeah. our winters take away our golf season. Yes. So, with the snow outside today, it's, it's a perfect day to, to have a golf simulator. So we thought, how, how can we bring the game to Minnesota year round? And, and we were joking uh, a little while ago, but the simulators are painfully accurate and reflective of your game. <laughs> oh, it can, <laughs> it can be brutal. If yeah. you've got a slice on the course, you're going to have a slice on the simulator yeah. as well. Wow. We've got six state-of-the-art golf simulators, yeah. and it's really cool. we got something for everybody. And, and there's a lot of different courses you can golf, too, right? How many? We've got over 70 courses, wow. and then if you don't feel like playing a course, you can go to your virtual backyard and play darts, bags, or beer pong. Well, that's a vir <laughs> virtual beer pong? Yeah. yeah, you're hitting a golf ball into the screen, and then it <laughs> translates on, and you're trying to knock down cups. Oh, it, gives you, it gives you a lot of different options. Your yeah. space is really cool, too. We, we were just seeing uh, some video of that. It's it, kind of cool where you get the way the whole thing kind of comes together. It really is. Yeah. We've got a golf ball ceiling feature with over 5,000 golf balls. Some poor guy had to screw in every single Was that you? golf ball. Not me. Not you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert, what are we cooking today? Well, this morning, my goodness, it's this, this morning. morning yes. We're doing a blue corn crusted shrimp. Boy, that looks uh, with good. With a couple different sauces. We have a chili aioli and we have a chimichurri. I started working on the chimichurri here, okay. um, which is just a nice herb sauce. Uh, heavy cilantro, a little parsley, some crushed red to go with that. And then the shrimp is breaded with blue corn tortilla chips. We have some mm -hmm. here. Uh, I buy the corn tortilla, tortilla chips and pulverize them down, get them nice and, uh, nice and fine like a mm -hmm. flour. We use those to bread the shrimp here, which we're going to do really quickly. Do you want to help out? I should. Do you have any gloves sure. on? No, I, don't, I won't but make I'll, you do well, that. Okay. But maybe you stir Bobby's this just going to make fun of me anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll put a little more oil in there. Okay. Again, we're trying not to get oil yeah, on gonna. anybody. But so, Go ahead. I'm no, gonna... I'm going to let you do your thing before I start asking ridiculous sure. questions. Yeah. So shrimp, this is what we call a standard breading procedure for anybody who's making shrimp standard at home. Standard breading procedure. Standard breading procedure. You start with flour. Yep. Then you go into a little egg wash. Yep. And then you finish with whatever you want on the outside of your the product. Blue corn so, breadcrumbs. Blue corn. And that's what we'll be frying up and you today. just put them right in there. And that's the finish. We've got them crisping up over here. Okay. And then we've got the chimichurri, which you have there. I yep. talked about what's in that. And then we have this other sauce that's going on the plate. I have a finished plate there. We'll finish this one. Mm. Um, I know it's it's mayonnaise. Everybody loves mayonnaise in the morning. But How could you not? We already little, had moonshine. Why we, not mayonnaise with it? <laughs> Start a little bit of that. And then I sweeten this sauce with some applesauce. Ah. Brown sugar. All right. A little spice there, too. A little spice. These are chipotle peppers all there mixed up. There you go. These are, this is just lime, uh, lime flesh yeah. all mixed together. How long are you cooking those shrimp for? Because usually you, you can't see them because sometimes with shrimp you want to be able to see them kind of change color. So how do you know how long to cook them for? Well, what's kind of because fun about this, obviously, well, I didn't want to say it like that, <laughs> but um, you, you do it a little bit based on time. And when this outside crisps up, you got a nice golden brown, generally your shrimp are, are finishing up. Okay. You can watch that tail curve up. Once that tail starts to curve a little bit more on your shrimp, you're pretty close to being done as well. And this is kind of a sweet, spicy, salty it's sauce. It's all the things. It's yeah, you're absolutely right. So when we're done... It's all the good stuff. <laughs> it is. I got sauce finished here. Right. We'll do a little bit of that. I'm going to let you plate that up. Got it. Uh, and we will uh, we'll eat this uh, in just a couple of minutes. I think that's a great it, it, probably idea. Probably even less than that. In fact, mm -hmm. Three Jack is located on Washington Avenue in the North Loop. We have a link. Uh, to today's shrimp recipe on care11.com. But let's be honest, just go play golf and try the shrimp. Mm.